To the blind, this may come off as Christian indoctrination. But to Christians, this is scripturally based doctrine of conduct through salvation that's over time been slightly lost in demonstration. Jesus of Nazareth, the author of salvation. So he who has an ear, let him hear, please, and listen. Many of God's children have become lukewarm and nonchalant about doing the Savior's request. He said if any man follows me, he must deny himself first and pick up his cross. So blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. By doing so, no one is able to take you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy. Also, be not conformed to this world, neither love the things that are in it. Thus, as Christians seek first his kingdom and righteousness, and all these other things will be given. But when you ask, it is not given because you ask with wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. But if you hold to his teachings, you are really his disciple. But if you're still seeking to please men, you're not even worthy of the title. You were bought with the price. Don't you have any idea what this means? For you and me to confess we believe, the King of Kings had to be stretched out on a tree. Jesus of Nazareth, the author of salvation, for he views the ends of the earth and sees everything under the heavens. This includes but not limited to rape, murder, and even child molestation. That's why we as believers are to present our bodies as a living sacrifice to the weary and burdened who are aching to see the light of Christ. So if you're impervious to love, then you will certainly prove to be useless. That's why Jesus said, by love will man know who his is. So woe to those who put their faith in things that are tangible and ungodly. Because you have a little money, you believe that it's something. Jesus describes you as being poor, blind, and naked. Because a man's life does not consist of the abundance of his possessions. So be aware of men who've been robbed of the truth. Who preach only that godliness is a means of financial breakthrough. Instead, put on the full armor of God to stand firm against Satan and his schematics. Jesus of Nazareth, the author of salvation. So no longer are we teaching safe sex, but on this day, abstinence. Because presenting our bodies as holy and acceptable is the highest act of worship. So abstain from fornication, for this is his will and your sanctification. For this is how we know that we really come to know him, when we do what he commands. That's why Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I say? Jesus of Nazareth, the author of salvation. I say this in repetition because in his name, the nations will be optimistic. So as I speak the sword of the spirit, I bind any demonic interference. Like Joshua said, choose this day whom you will serve. Because in these times, we're no longer just playing church. Remember, not everyone that says Lord, Lord will enter into the kingdom. Only those who fulfill the will of the Lord's mission. So tell me, what will you do when you come before his presence? And he says, depart from me. I never knew you, you worker of iniquity. This is the biblical doctrine of conduct through salvation that's over time but slightly lost in translation. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the author of salvation. Good morning, Willow Grove, where we're making disciples to make a difference. These are your announcements for Sunday, July 1st, 2018. It's Youth Weekend, and we want to thank all of our children and youth for the great work you're doing here at Willow Grove in the community and representing the kingdom. We're extremely proud of the young men and women you're becoming and celebrate you today. And don't forget, our Youth Weekend celebration continues following service. Our young people will be selling pizza and soda for $5. The funds help support our weekend activities. This Tuesday, we'll have family Bible study and hope you'll bring the entire family out for prayer at 6, followed by Bible study at 630, because it's a family affair. Willow Grove is where we're striving to be healthy, exalting the Savior, explaining the scripture, edifying the saints, and emancipating souls. And these are your announcements for the week.